Hey guys, it's Amber back again with another Sims 4 speed build. Today we're going to be doing Hagrid's Hut from Harry Potter and I'm super stoked for this build. I had so much fun doing it. Like I mentioned in my past two videos, I'm going to do like a Harry Potter um, build challenge thing, like a little playlist of Harry Potter builds in Sims. Uh, so I want to start with Hagrid's Hut and I want to do the Gryffindor common room during Christmas. I'm going to do Hogsmeade maybe. Uh, number four, Privet Drive, and I'm thinking about doing the Weasley's house. That one might be a little bit more complicated because just the structural part of it would be hard to do. But yeah, so this is my first one, and I thought it came out really well. I was really happy for it. So I was really happy with it. <laughs> but this did take me a bit of uh, time trying to find the right lot that I wanted to use for this. I wanted it to be secluded enough to where it looked like it was kind of in the woods. Um, I didn't just want like a road right beside it. Uh, so this is a 20 by 15 lot. It's a bit smaller than I wanted. It's a 20 by 15 lot in Windenburg. I feel like that's, I always build in Windenburg just because it's so nice and I like it. Um, but yeah, so I ended up doing a little bit of the Forbidden Forest because we have to have that there because this hut is right on the edge. And then it is on a hill, so I tried to make it a bit hilly. I didn't want it to be too extreme uh, just for like building the actual hut. I didn't want it to be too crazy. And then I started off building the hut. So it, it looks like it's in kind of an octagonal form in the pictures that I found. I found a couple pictures. It was so hard to find like a good representation of what his hut actually looks like, especially inside. And I know that there are multiple scenes that take place inside Hagrid's hut. And like, I couldn't find any pictures online and I didn't want to scroll through like all of the movies to try to find it. So I, I try to stay true to what it actually looks like, but some of this may take an artistic approach to it. Like the fact that I do include an outhouse because I don't think Hagrid has a bathroom inside his hut. I just, I don't see that. I don't see it in there. So I definitely did add an outhouse, uh, which is fine. I mean, you know, whatever, maybe. Where else would he go to the bathroom? Is he going to walk all the way up to the castle? I don't think so. Um, so yeah, I did not add an outhouse. And for this smaller room that's attached to the side, I end up changing the size of it later on. But for the smaller room, I that's what I made his bedroom. And it's never, like, shown really, or it's never really talked about, but I... I pretty sure it mentions that there's a four poster bed in the back room like I pretty sure I remember reading that so I don't that's just what I felt worked best and I, I think it came out really well um, and also I tried to make this lot playable but I wanted to also keep it I wanted to keep it as realistic as I could to the actual films and the books so I had to add, <laughs> I had to add like a little fireplace or what are those things called? I said this in the last video too, barbecue pit. I had to add that off to the side so that if you actually wanted to live here, you could, like you could feed yourself because Hagrid obviously doesn't have a fridge or a stove. He uses his fireplace to cook everything and we can't do that in the Sims. So I didn't want to add like a whole kitchen in his hut whenever he doesn't actually have one. Um, along with, you know, the bathroom and the shower. Like, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think Hagrid really had a shower, but I added one anyway so that if you did want to play on this lot, you could. Um, you might want to do a couple little adjustments just to make it a little bit more livable, but, you know, that's totally up to you. Um, and with this roof, I did play around a little bit because in some of the pictures, it does look like there's, like, stuff on the roof. So I ended up adding the little, I don't even know, they're like iron, they're pointy iron things. So I just added them all over the roof because it just looked like there was a bunch of stuff all over the roof. So I ended up adding that in, in a little bit. So I was trying to figure out like what would go best. There is kind of like a little window up there, but I tried sizing this down later on too, and it just didn't look right. So I just got rid of it and I didn't put anything else over there. But yeah, so um, I wish I wish that I had cats and dogs because I would have made Fang and I would have made like, you know, like a bowl for Fang or a bed for Fang too, but I don't have cats and dogs. Um, I did end up actually making Hagrid <laughs> to go with this build. Now, it's a very stylistic approach to Hagrid because, I mean, it, it's pretty difficult to, <laughs> to make him realistically in The Sims without using uh, CC and I don't like to 
I don't like to use CC, so I didn't download anything for it. I just used whatever I had in cast to make it or to make him. And the hair is a bit, <laughs> the hair is a bit more, um, kept than Hagrid's is. Hagrid has that wild, bushy hair and they just didn't really have any options for that. As, as well as his outfits, like there's nothing really super baggy to choose from. So I, I had to play around with it for a little bit. So whenever you see him, you know, donate. That's as good as I could do. I'm sure somebody's done better, but that's just, that's what I created him as. And I'm thinking about doing a little cast video of that too, because I did record that. But yeah, it was so much fun to do this. Oh, and there, I thought this was so fun. I went and added the little Ford Anglia. Is that how you say it? The the car that was Arthur Weasley's before Ron drove it into the Whomping Willow. And now it lives in the Forbidden Forest. So it's just kind of hanging out and visiting Hagrid a little bit. So I wanted to add that in for sure. Um, but yeah, so I had a lot of fun doing this. And I think whenever I go to do the Gryffindor common room, which I think is definitely going to be a challenge, um, I want to make Harry, Ron, and Hermione, which is also going to be a challenge. And I'm thinking about downloading uh, Hogwarts robes for that, just because I'm pretty sure there's nothing that's going to be close to it. And I'd like to have them in their robes. I think that would be fun. So I might, I might download some CC for that. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. See, we'll see what I can come up with. Yeah, so I really don't like the way that these stairs look because in the in the pictures that I have, they they come directly out of the door. They don't have that platform there, so it kind of bothers me that it's so high up like that. But you know what? We'll just have to work with it. And we have our little pumpkin patch and our scarecrow. And you know, this is where Buckbeak was tied up, but I don't have a Buckbeak to put in here, so. It's too bad I had his little wheelbarrow because I feel like Hagrid is definitely a gardener of some sort. Um, and I do end up adding, well, I guess I'll wait. I'll wait for, <laughs> I'll wait for that whenever that comes. But yeah, so for the interior, everything is just kind of everywhere in Hagrid's hut. He's got so much crap. So that's just kind of what I try to do. I try to pick things that I felt like Hagrid would have, just random crap. So here is his fireplace. I could not find a fireplace that looked like it belonged here except for this faux one that comes with the holiday pack um so I used this faux fireplace yeah it doesn't work but I guess it kind of worked out better anyway because Hagrid uses his fireplace to cook and so I had to literally create <laughs> a fireplace I used this flower pot for the cauldron and then I used those logs I think that's from seasons um or the holiday pack I used the logs for you know logs <laughs> that's where he would he would light his fire and I thought it turned out pretty good I was actually pretty impressed with myself with how this fireplace turned out I really liked it and those coals that I added I I do eventually raise them up so you can actually see them I didn't realize that they were like hidden until later on um, and I'm just kind of getting a bunch of stuff out that I feel like Hagrid would have in his hut I'm just kind of placing them so I'm not going to leave everything where it is but um I just I just kind of put everything everywhere. Okay, so I, I found these chicken sculptures. I don't know why there's so many chicken sculptures. Uh, those are roosters, obviously, but they're, they're, they're chicken ones, too. And I felt like, okay, yeah, Haggard would definitely have some chickens. Like, why wouldn't he? And I'm pretty sure he does, because I remember at one point where he's talking to Dumbledore, he mentioned something about a chicken. I don't, I don't know. But, yeah, so I ended up <laughs> adding a little chicken family back there, even though they're not real. But, you know, whatever. Bear with me. And then, of course, we have his table. This is the one thing, like the one picture I found with his fireplace and the table. So that vase that I put right there, here's some more chickens. <laughs> so there's so many chicken sculptures, I don't understand. The vase that I put on the table, I wanted it to resemble the dragon's egg that he has in Philosopher's Stone. So that's why I put it there. So it's not just like a fancy vase, it's the dragon's egg, okay, that hatches into Norbert, okay? <laughs> that's what it is. Um... And so I was like, okay, yeah, like whenever I was planning out this build, I was like, I have to have the egg, I have to have an umbrella, I have to have pump and pump, oh my god, pumpkin patch, there were like a list of things that I wanted to add, and the egg was definitely one of them. Yeah, so his table and his chair are mentioned a lot, he's got like a scrubbed wood table, 
And so I definitely wanted to add that. And you saw me kind of trying to size it up because obviously Hagrid is half giant and everything would need to be big. But in Sims, we don't have giants. Like you can't make anybody taller, which is kind of really weird if you think about it. You can't make anybody taller or shorter. Everybody's literally the same height. Um, and so it would just kind of look silly. And it did. It was just too big. Um, that portrait I put right there, that's definitely a moving, talking portrait. And it's a portal to somebody else. Like <laughs> it's kind of they, I had like this this story in my mind. Like this is this portrait is somewhere else in the castle, and that's how he gets to and for fro places easily or something. You know, I don't know, whatever. But we have those portraits all over Hogwarts, so we had to have one in, in Hagrid's head too. And then here's where I kind of re start to resize that uh the smaller thing because I mean I knew that that bed wasn't going to fit there but I was like okay maybe maybe it will but it, it obviously doesn't and it looks really silly just being out in like the living area so I did resize this smaller area to be his bedroom um and I did test everything I always test everything to make sure that it's all playable I didn't have to move anything around there was like one plant that I had to move I think um uh, but everything else fit and everything else was playable so he can get into bed he can sit on his chairs and he can use the bathroom and everything whenever I add that in later. Uh, but yeah, so I wanted to keep the bedroom, I don't know, pretty simple. I felt like, you know, obviously it would be a little bit cluttered, but it's just his bed in here and I add a sink later on because in like uh, olden times, I guess they always have like a wash basin in their bedrooms and so I wanted to add a sink in there for him. Just adding more crap, <laughs> you know, I feel like Hagrid has so much crap. Um, yeah, so I did do, he's got a crap ton of rugs too. I, I did notice that. So I wanted to add a lot of these kind of older looking rugs, but there weren't too many options. So I just went with what I had. So here's me trying to figure out if I wanted to do a kitchen or not. I could have done like this older style, the older style um, stove and fridge, but it just wasn't right because he just doesn't have that in his hut. So I just didn't add it. I just added a dresser instead. But if you wanted to go in and add a kitchen, totally fine. Um, but yeah. So I was going to say something. What was I saying? I was saying something else. And I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, well. oh, okay. So the lot traits. <laughs> I thought this was very clever of me. I added the lot traits and one of them was gnomes because I just, you know, of course he's going to have gnomes. Um, and then I did good schools because, haha, I'm so funny. Hogwarts is up the hill from where he lives. So of course there's good schools around. And then I did teenage neighborhood because obviously Hogwarts is right up the hill. He's going to have a lot of teenage visitors and he does because he's friends with Harry, Ron, and Hermione, so they come and visit him a lot, so I thought that was quite clever of me to do that, <laughs> um, and actually, when I was building Hagrid and Cass, I, um, I gave him an aspiration to be a collector, I think, which kind of makes sense to me, because he's, I, I don't have cats and dogs, so I couldn't do something with animals, which I know he loves animals, right, um, but I, I couldn't do something like that, so I did a collector anyway, so he can go and collect animals, I guess. <laughs> You know, something like that. And I realized that when I was doing this video, I, I forgot to take out that little, the the light, the small round light. So that is still in this uh, bedroom. So I don't know if you want to remove that or not. I didn't, I forgot to take it out, but that's okay. And I did go and change, whenever I was taking the screenshots, I changed all of the lamps to kind of have like an orangey hue so that it feels more like homey, which is what I picture Hagrid's hut to feel like just really homey and warm and he would have a fire going and it would be really inviting even though it's very cluttered it feels like really comforting to be there so I wanted to change the lamps to have that orangey hue yeah so here's his bedroom pretty simple I try to keep it you know not too busy just because it's a smaller area and I know that Sims can get tripped up on like that plant by the sink I had to move that because apparently that was in the way uh but yeah Sims get tripped up a lot on little things like that so I try to keep it not as cluttered all right and then here I am building the outhouse right next to the chicken family um so I mean 
I didn't have to add this because we don't really see it, but I felt like in order to make this lot playable, I wanted to go ahead and add the outhouse. It's very simple. It's very dark and basic. You know, it just has a shower and a toilet and a toilet roll <laughs> and that's it. So, you know, we have the sink inside. So unfortunately your Sims going to have to walk all the way inside after they use the toilet. But there's just really no room in there for it, and I don't think that he would have one in there anyway. Oh, and I added the robe. <laughs> a nice little robe for Hagrid to have. So right here, my footage is about to cut because I accidentally pressed the Windows button on my keyboard because it's right next to the Alt button. And I didn't realize that my recorder stopped recording whenever it did that. I just did a couple more little things inside uh, with the decor, and I added a couple more little things and like landscaping-wise. But nothing else drastic changed, so thank thank God for that. Thank God that it didn't cut earlier. Um, but yeah, so I go back in later and I add a couple more things to, like I added the umbrella because I really wanted him to have the umbrella stand because, as we know, Hagrid needs his umbrella because it's his wand, right? So I was thinking, I was like, okay, I have to have the umbrella. And then I just moved a couple more little things around and I fixed the the pumpkin patch up a little bit but yeah so that's about it and if you want uh, I do have this up on the gallery already if you want to download it you can search Hagrid's Hut or I will put a link in the description for you if you liked this build please let me know if you want to see more from me let me know um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it as well and if you want to see more please subscribe I will be doing more on this little Harry Potter series. Like I said, I think next, I don't know what I want to do next. I think maybe I'll do number four, Privet Drive. I feel like a lot of people have done that one, even though I really honestly haven't even, I haven't looked <laughs> to see. I didn't watch any builds on this because I felt like if I would have watched builds for Hagrid's Hut, I would have gotten discouraged and been like, oh no, I can't make mine look as good as that. So I did the best that I could and I felt like it looks really nice. Um, I do really like it and I feel like it is authentic to the films and to the books. But yeah, and so, like I said, um, I don't know, I feel like number four, Privet Jive, or, man, I, don't, I do want to do Gryffindor Common Room at Christmas, but I'm going to have to do some, I guess, researching for that one <laughs> to make sure that it looks right. And also, I feel like it would be kind of funny just having the room. But I'm, I'm still going to do it anyway. I might do that one next because I'm really excited for that one. But yeah, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and let me know. And subscribe if you would like to see more. Thank you for watching. Bye.